Hi everyone we all know that there is a change in the curriculum of the courses of central universities according to the new education policy so today we'll be discussing about the changes in the syllabus of economics honors course of delhi university before coming to that let's talk about the course itself so earlier we had only one course that was economics honors but now there'll be three courses first is economics honors that is ba honors economics second is economics as a major that is ba economics major or economics as a minor that is ba economics minor now what is the difference in these three so to have a very simple overview for instance in economics honors in first semester you will be having three subjects first is microeconomics then mathematical methods for economics and statistics for economics whereas in economics as a major you will be having only two subjects that is microeconomics and basic mathematics for economic analysis and in ba economics minor there will be only one subject that is principle of microeconomics and obviously there will be other elective subjects as well but these are the core subjects that we are talking about so with this we could understand that in economics honors in almost all the semesters along with economics you will be having maths as well as stats whereas in ba economics major you'll be having economics and with that you'll be having basic maths and in ba economics minor you just have to read economics no maths or stats part will be included so this was about the overview of the course now in this video we'll see the difference in the syllabus of economics honors we'll compare the previous syllabus with the new one so let's look at it semester wise and remember we'll not be including the elective subjects we are only talking about the core subjects as of now so in semester 1 earlier we used to have introductory microeconomics and with that mathematical methods for economics but now we'll be having introductory microeconomics introductory mathematical methods for economics and introductory statistics for economics then in second semester earlier we used to have introductory macroeconomics and with that again mathematical methods for economics and now we'll be having introductory macroeconomics intermediate mathematical methods for economics and intermediate statistics for economics then in semester 3 earlier it was intermediate microeconomics intermediate macroeconomics and statistical methods for economics now the subjects will be intermediate microeconomics which will specifically include behavioral foundations of market interactions intermediate macroeconomics which will include foundations of aggregate income determination and advanced mathematical methods for economics then in fourth semester earlier it was intermediate microeconomics intermediate macroeconomics and introductory econometrics and now the subjects will be intermediate microeconomics which will include market government and welfare intermediate macroeconomics which will include policy issues and introductory econometrics then in the fifth semester the subjects were indian economy and development economics and now there'll be specific topics first is game theory and strategic interactions then economic growth and business cycles and introductory development economics then in the sixth semester again there was indian economy and development economics and now it will be international trade development theory and experience and indian growth and development now till now the course was only for 3 years even now the course is of 3 years only for economics honors but if you want the degree for honors with research or honors with academic projects or honors with entrepreneurship you can go for the fourth year as well so it is an option for you in the fourth year and seventh semester the subject will be economic development and policy in india and in the eighth semester it will be topics in development and policy so how is the course divided basically if you are doing only the first year you will be awarded with undergraduate certificate if you are doing first and second year you will be awarded with undergraduate diploma if you are completing 3 years of your course you will be awarded with bachelor's of honors degree and if you are completing 4 years of your course you will be awarded with bachelor's of honors with research or bachelor's of honors with academic projects or bachelor's of honors with entrepreneurship whichever is applicable so this was about the curriculum and the change in syllabus hope you like the video for more updates do subscribe to our channel